How did you not see this coming? My God, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all. Our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters, Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming.
The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including. Ah, uh, I see someone's in a hurry to get inside. Well, no one. symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. I get it. What's new is that the Master of Ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside it. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, whatever's... Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony, symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant, phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does.
How are you today, sir? You do. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're the master of ceremonies. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I'll never go in the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. No, no, spectacle. A lot of people hate it. Why are you all up in my face, mister? Please, mister, behave. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. Never go in the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. No. Spectacle. They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Lord, what have I done? Did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh... Just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Feniger. Break on. Some pledge, and yet a drop in the ocean. Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful you today, successor, sir? our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patron of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live, and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars, or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the Elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down, 
when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Look at you, Feniger. all dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live. sealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's a flipping necklace. Anyway, the Washington twins found it first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel propels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I thought those two were lovers. And on and off. Currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about it. Why the need for an alarm? So, according to its charter, the Ark Society collects priceless art and historical artifacts in case of a global disaster. And this year, world-famous treasure hunter Blake Nathaniel has donated an Aztec necklace called the Cloud Serpent to the Ark Society's growing collection. However, Blake fears that Sophia Washington, his former lover and rival, who has hunted the Cloud Serpent for years, will attempt to steal it for herself before it goes into storage. Hmm. Could be just the bait we need. ...system. We're all filthy rich. Except... Oh, I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and peel back the necklace before it's sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. What are among thieves, huh? Mm -hmm.
Who's out of town? Huh. Yes. Smooth, 47. The Sparrow's got nothing on you. Oh, have a good evening, sir. Up yours, Blake. Sophia. Blake? I almost didn't recognize you without a knife in my back. I messed up. I see that now. Can we talk? This should be good. Follow me. Hey there, how you doing? Excellent, 47. Let's give Sophia her heart's desire, shall we? You've got one minute. I did wrong by you, Sophia. I see that now, and I want to make amends. Here, this is rightfully yours. Well, well. Look who comes crawling back. Leave us. You know, we lost three men because of you. Wickus was crushed by a rolling boulder. Jaco fell into a pit trap. And Zoe and me, we only escaped the arrows by using one of the local guides as a human shield. Now, this is a nice gesture, but it doesn't even begin to make amends. I know. May I? Fine, but not too tight. You know, I thought about sending the boys after you. Grab the necklace and cut your throat ear to ear. You probably wonder why I didn't. The truth is, you beat us, Blake. I don't deny it. And I can't very well get even if you're dead. So, consider yourself warned. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. No, nope. I have absolutely zero faith in the vault. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? You see what I'm saying? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Barnwood's assassin. Move. Partners no more. I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. 
as Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you, I wonder. Just keep walking. This is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? Oh, I see. The penny drops. So this damn yoga I should have known. Got running in cycle. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray. Was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain who caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got.
Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet... Something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable. <laughs> <laughs>